Hello everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of Factorio. Alright, last episode we were messing around with the Spidertron. We got our lasers going and our personal power armor here. Which actually I should charge up. Let me switch these. And we shall put the reactors back in here, I guess. I kind of wish there was a way you could more easily swap this stuff than clicking them one by one. But let's just put both in here. Alright, and then that'll charge up the batteries, and then we need to do the same thing for the Spider-Tron. So let's take these legs out. Oh, except that I don't have extra reactors for this. Right. Okay. I guess we'll have to share. Also, I don't know why I have an extra pair of legs. <laughs> Must have crafted an extra one on accident. Um, while I'm here, make sure everything is good here. Yeah, I got speed modules and all those. Okay, so anyway, what we were going to do today, what I thought about doing... Oh, mining productivity is finished. Let's keep that going. Uh, where is it? Yeah, level four. Oh, this requires space science at level four. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we can't do that, unfortunately. Guess let's do train braking force. That This one also requires space science. So does that one, so does that one. Okay, all of these now require it. So I guess we'll do these. This is level six, yeah. Okay. So yeah, pretty soon we're gonna have to get space science going then. Um, however, uh, what was I saying? What we were doing today. Um, I noticed last episode that our green circuits are kind of trickling in a little bit and that is because our iron yeah see these two belts here hardly have any coming in and that's because our iron here is non-existent it's it's coming in now but it comes in in waves because we only have two iron trains from our two mines up here this one and this one and uh, it's just not enough to keep up. So what I think I'm going to do today is set up a new iron mine. And we decided last episode that it would be this big one down here. So that's what I'm going to work on. Um, one thing I was curious about, and I don't know if this is a good idea or not. My gut kind of tells me it's not a good idea, but if you can use beacons to mine. Um, my fear with it is that, you know, since beacons take up so much space, then you, ha you would have to have so many... Um, you would have to move the miners around all the time. Because they would just mine out something really fast. So, yeah, just kind of talking through that makes me feel like it's probably not a good idea. But maybe I'll... Let's go ahead and we'll um, just set one up the way I normally have. But if you guys know if it's good to use beacons in a mine, then yeah, let me know. And let me know kind of specifics about how to set it up. So that I could try it out. Um, yeah. So anyway. Uh, with that being said. I need to get. 
Okay, I have some miners, but this is a big patch, so I think we need to get some more. And I'm going to need train tracks, which we may or may not have. Let's request a little bit more. Also, we, sh we should turn this on. And then let me get rid of some of this stuff I have, like these. And the batteries. Train signals. I th think 50 is probably enough, right? Hopefully so. What else? These electric engines. What are our blueprints here? Yeah, this can be deleted. I'm going to delete this one. That's our grid design, but I still want to update that a little bit, I think. Okay, pipes. I don't think we need 500 right now. And then maybe we'll bump this up again. Let me get 500. Yeah. All right. And then miners. Um, where are you? Two fifty, maybe will be enough. And then what else am I gonna need? Uh, chests, which I've got. Stack inserters. Oh, I only have 42, but that should be enough because I have. Didn't I switch to three cars for the most part now? No, I guess I'm doing four. I switch from three to four? Yeah, I guess because it's easier to split, right? Okay, so that means I need six times eight, 48. Uh, stack inserters, so that's not enough. What else? Gonna get rid of the substations for now. could probably get rid of all this um, concrete and stuff too. Yeah, let's do that too. Okay, I think that should be good enough for now. Alright, and our suit... Oh, I didn't actually put it on. These need to charge up. Okay, now they're charging. All right. Um, is that all I need? Let me take a look at one of these other mines. So the miners, lots of power poles, Belts. I only have 400 belts. I might need more than that. Splitters, I'm good. Yeah, let's increase this to like 700 maybe. Alright, now we'll go to the mall. Get the rest of this stuff. Now we can go down here. Man, that looks 
huge. I don't even know if 250 is going to be enough. I don't think it is. I'm going to get another 100. Just because I don't want to have to make this trip back. I really hope I don't forget anything. This reminds me of the old days. <laughs> when I say old days, I mean like 50 episodes ago. But, yeah, I would constantly forget things. Hopefully that won't be the case this time, but we'll see. Shortly. Spider-Tron's almost out of power, too, unfortunately. I never put beacons over there on that oil patch. Okay, is it this one? Yes. We have arrived. Okay, it doesn't look as big as I was initially thinking now that I'm here. Okay, so I'm going to get out of the Spider-Tron because it's kind of annoying to build while you're in it. Um, also, I need all my robo-ports. So let's just do that. I wonder if the... Spider-Tron charges while it's while I'm not in it. I guess we can find that out. I'll just put uh, I guess I gotta take four legs out. Put those in. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So we'll let that charge up while we're doing this. And I've said in the past, I don't know whether it's a good or idea or not to set up these miners uh, using a blueprint. It probably is, right? It's probably fine. Let's just do that right now. So we kind of want to do something like this. And I guess we probably want to have it be repeatable so we can do something like this. Then maybe we'll remove that belt and this will come over to this side. Do I want to put lamps? Yeah, we could do lamps. Oh yeah, duh. I gotta bring power over here too. I guess I should have done the train tracks first. Also, are these cliffs? Yeah, that looks really weird on the map. Um, okay, so... Is this tileable then? Should be, right? Um, oh, wait. Uh, did I put... Whoops. I was in map mode. Okay, yeah. We'll get the lamps on all of the power poles there. And then, yeah, can I just copy... So it doesn't doesn't paste them there, which is good, except that then if I wanted to copy this whole thing, it wouldn't have those on the end over there. But that's all right. We'll deal with that in a minute. So then, I think we'll just do something like this. All 
All right, I can't put any there, but we can here. Like so. Oh, I messed up the power poles somehow. Oh yeah, because I tiled it. Um, yeah, I tiled it incorrectly. Whoops. Um, shoot. Yeah, we can have them this far apart here. So let's see. Let me make a, or actually here, I'll just modify this one. Um, oh, this is tiles. Let's just do power poles, red belts, and miners. I think that, oh, and lamps. All right, so. Oh, you know what? I'm dumb. I do not have to do that. I'll take the miners off and the belts off. I'm just going to do the power poles. And I'll just remove them all. Why aren't they... Oh, I did this as a... Whitelist, whitelist. Only. Only tiles are selected. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. That's fine. You know, I'm going to just keep that because I might want it later. But we'll add another one. And here we'll just do lamps and power poles. And then we'll remove all these. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to walk down the whole length like that. Okay, so the tiling should be Well, I guess what I did wrong is I I didn't I lined them up. Um here I'll just do an example here to explain what I was doing. So if I had one here, oh, that's not a good example cuz the miners are missing there. Um Uh okay. Let's pretend it's this way. Um, so instead of putting them here, I should have put them here and overlapped them. That's what I did wrong. So this blueprint is still okay. So let's copy it. And I don't know if... Did I actually save a... Uh, Blueprint for mines or miners. I don't think I did. No, I don't see one on here. So yeah, let's go ahead and save it then. So we're going to call this miners. And I'll just put it down here. Then... This one will save as Robo uh, Roboport module, I guess, maybe. Should I get rid of this stuff in my inventory? I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, 
So then let's get rid of these again. Or actually, I'll just cut. And yeah, so here actually is, I could have done this as an example. So yeah, I want it here, not here. For it to tile correctly. There we go. All right, and then there's a couple stragglers here, and that should be all of them. That's going to give us six belts, so we'll have to combine them, which is no problem. All right, is this charged up now? Yeah, nice, look at that. Awesome. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's figure out where we want the train stop to be. Maybe. I guess we'll just go through this forest. You know me, I don't really like to do that, but we'll go ahead and do it. And yeah, maybe I'll just come. I should leave some space for beacons over here. In fact, I should just put beacons, except I don't have very many speed modules. But yeah, we'll just come kind of right below there. Actually, maybe we can just extend this. That would probably work just fine. Let's try it. We want straight section. Did I put the train stops? I did not. Okay. Um, I should have placed another one. Okay, so let's get train signals and we'll just put them by the radar like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I just need them on the outsides. That should be good. All right, so then we will copy. Is there a way to update a blueprint? Probably not, huh? Ah, select new contents for the blueprint. Okay, so I didn't have to make a new blueprint. I could have just done it like that. Yeah, cool. Okay, so then this one can go away. Very good. All right, so now we can build this thing. Yeah, that sh should be enough space, I think, between the um, oil fields. Also, wow, the, that uh, power pole, big one there, is hidden behind that tree really well. <laughs> I was wondering if it... Oh, no. Oh, man. Well, that was an unfortunate placement. Let's 
It's that wobbly spider tron. Okay, there we go. And oh, we're here already. Okay, cool. Um Did I leave myself enough space? Is the next question. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna do one of these, because I can't do these myself. We're gonna do six, two, four. Uh, what did I just do? Right click to remove, left click to restore. I, oh. Why is my only option to save? I just need to drag it out. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the train stop is not entirely small here. Um, how do we do this? Um, I guess first let's build the train stop. So we're going to have, um, I guess I also need to know or decide where to put it. Um, So if I were to put it here as an example, how come you're only showing me four cars? I thought I changed that. Train visualization length is six. So why is it only showing me four? I don't understand. Factorio makes no sense sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why that's only showing me four, but anyway, um, the train stop will have to be starting right here. So if we get our inserters like so, Actually, did I make a blueprint for this? No, I guess I should do that too. Um, so then we got our power poles on the sides. We got our lamps here. And then we wanted to do the belts from a splitter that way and that way. So we'll copy this whole thing and we'll save it as a blueprint. Let's call this train stop loading module. Okay, then we'll do this. Oh, why can't I tile it correctly? Oh, it's because the, the train track is in the blueprint. Okay, well, that's annoying. So we got to remove that. Okay. 
So two, three, four. All right, and then we'll go back to here. So maybe I can just do one, two, three, four gap and bring all the belts to here. Um, here, let me get rid of those. Uh, I gotta do it again. I always get the click wrong too. I can never remember. Uh, nope. There. Okay. So, yeah. One, two, three, four. And then let's just put it... Uh, so, if we have the first one there... Two, three, four. I think right here will work. Let's try that. Okay, and then we've got uh, downgrade to red belts. All right, so then this one will come. Like that, this one will go there. just need to bring power down to the mine and there we go uh, you know what I did forget though oh wait a sec I didn't ever fix my power poles oops all right um, did I actually save the blueprint though like it. Yeah, I think we're good. Now we got these loading up. Awesome. So then let's get our blueprint book again. And we'll do a turnaround right here. going to call this one. I kind of went a little crazy with my naming. We renamed this one to Alpha. This one is Echo. 
And we've got a foxtrot. It's kind of all over the place. I guess I'm just going to call it beta, even though that doesn't really make sense. But maybe we'll start from here where this is, uh, you know, fill in the gaps between alpha and echo. <laughs> So yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, whoops, I should have copied it if I can. Copy. Paste. Yep, that works. Then we'll call this beta. There we go. Um, and then the, the train should be able to get fueled from up there. We should be good with that. Um, the only other question is... Uh, what the drop-off situation is going to be. Uh, do I have a train on me? I do. Hooray. Okay, so we're going to do four cars. Get it loaded up. I'm going to have to give it some fuel to start. Um, I guess I just have to use coal for now. And then let's also copy the train, get the color. If I can, there we go, cool. Oh, except I don't want all these stops. Um, I just want, well, okay, let's change this to iron pickup beta. Move that to the top. We'll say full cargo. And then, yeah, it'll go to the parking. And then it'll drop off, and then it'll get fueled up. If it actually works correctly that is is it full i think it is so let's put it in automatic mode and yeah we need to see what it's gonna do up here my uh fear is that it might crash so we don't want that Okay, so here's our parking spot. I guess if there is a train here and in the station, it'll stop up here, which is not ideal, but it won't crash because of this signal here. But then it, yeah, it'll block the, the rail. Okay, we're, we're here. Oh, what, what, <laughs> what are you doing? Train. Iron parking alpha. Why couldn't it... Why couldn't it go to the... Parking directly? I don't quite get what just happened. That was very odd. Um, I'm gonna... Why couldn't it come right through here? Does that really not work? Um, okay, I'm gonna put it in an automatic, let it go on its way. And then... Let's just look at this one. You're almost full. Okay, so if I say play, okay, it comes down. Yeah, and it goes straight into there. Is there something wrong with this angle right here? Like this curve? I can't do this curve or something? seems really strange to me. I mean, 
Yeah, I guess. Well, no. It... Hmm. Okay, I'm just kind of <laughs> making sounds now. Um... Yeah, I guess it can't do this whole curve like this for some reason, which is kind of a bummer. Um, you guys told me that I can set up a kind of a parking lot deal. Um, let me get some more uh, cargo wagons. And we'll try to set that up. I don't know if I have any up here. Let's see. I do not. Okay. So let's go get some from the mall. I probably should have turned my number of belts down, huh? Um, we had an issue with the cargo wagons, didn't we? They are... where? Here. Waiting for source items. Iron gear wheels. Should be coming from here. Oh. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, how many of these these did I say to make? Uh, 50? That should be okay, I think. Yeah, less than 50. Okay. So this one is going to have the same problem. This one also 50. Yep. Okay. And this one too. Um, really don't want you making any because I know I have a bunch already. Did I put those in here? No. Didn't I? Thought I made a bunch of those. Let's go check before I turn that one on. Okay, I'm taking a look through this giant list on the right. Oh, we have some artillery shells in there. Uh, no, I'm not really seeing any. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, hook it up, but I'm actually going to reduce it from 50 because I really don't think I'm going to use any of those from here on out. Maybe there's a chance, but I think it's pretty slim. I guess I did only set it to 10. Let's just do 5. Then we'll change this one to 5 as well. Alright, and then we'll get our long inserter here. Oh. Oh, I didn't bring the uh, iron down here. Okay. Um, can you grab it from here? Yes, you can. I guess I could have put it here. 
whatever. That's fine. Okay, um, so then let me grab productivity modules. Okay, yeah, we're getting the cargo wagons now. There we go. And did it give me some? Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Um, modules are going to be down this way. Got to run on my sidewalk. Okay, so let's do productivity. Uh, how many miners were down here? One hundred sixty-seven. Okay, and can it do three modules each? I think. So I need like 500-ish of them. I'll just get a couple extra stacks in case. We should be good. All right, and then should I catch the train or just walk down there? This would be a, oh, actually, this would be a good example of having a remote for your Spider-Tron. So let's make one of those too. So for that I needed a rocket control unit. And I forget what that takes. Right, I needed a speed module. I could have grabbed one, but oh well, that's all right. I wonder if you have to link it up somehow before you can use it. Sync it with Bluetooth. <laughs> crafting let's check on our train our new one is it down here no where is it at the moment is this one yes it is oh I wanted to check if it got fuel it should have if everything is working the way it's supposed to but yeah this is the problem I was talking about where this train is on the main line, which you don't want. Okay, I have the remote now. Where did it go? Did it get put in my trash slot? I bet you it did. I guess we can put it here. It's right here. How does this thing work? Allow sending simple move commands to the Spidertron from the map or world. Left click on the Spidertron to connect it. Yeah, sure enough, you gotta connect it. Okay. So, I just missed my ride. Um, do I have my car on me? I do, let's just take my car. into anything on the way. Uh, 
I also should come back here and put beacons over there with the oil stuff. Okay, so I'll pick that up. And modules is what I was going to do. How much is this going to spike my power usage, I wonder. go. Cool. Yeah, I had plenty. Alright, awesome. Yeah, let's check the power situation. Okay, we're still we still have plenty of capacity, so that's good. Let's do in the last minute for miners. Oh, well, yeah, it's not going to really show because they weren't mining before. But, yeah, it looks like 20, 30 extra megawatts are being used now. Something like that. I guess we'd have to look over the last, like, 10 minutes, maybe. Yeah, I guess here was our peak before. 48 megawatts, and now we're up to 60 and climbing. Yeah, substantially more power. Yeah, we're up to 350, 360. Uh, what's our um, uranium looking like these days? A bunch of them are out. 39k, 48k. Yeah, it's getting kind of low. I think we need to start mining uranium very soon. Like in the next episode, maybe. We'll do that. This is looking pretty good, I think. Our Spider-Tron is all um, charged up so we can bring it back. And let's see. We're at 53 minutes. Yeah, let me see if I can maybe... Get these going. Although these aren't pumping at the moment. Oh, are these ones only used for um, the wall? Let's see. They go down. Yeah, they are. Okay. that's. I think that's why I didn't put modules on them. Because they're not really needed. Since it's just powering the wall. And it doesn't pump very much oil out of those. Okay. So, never mind. We don't need to waste modules on that. So, um, let's spend the last few minutes for, of the episode trying to figure out this parking lot thing. So you guys told me that I could do like a diagonal type setup. It's kind of a bummer the spider trons not faster on the concrete. Oh well. Um, Alright, so up here. I love that I can just walk over everything. That's so cool. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, which is a bit of a bummer. But, okay. So we need something like... this um, I want it to meet up over there there we go all right now the question is is this long enough or 
four cars. Oh yeah, more than enough. Okay. So actually, one, two, three, four. Yes, it only needs to go to like here. Okay, so then if we copy this, um, kind of wish I didn't have it overlapped right there. Um, I wonder, okay, so yeah, I mean, this is obviously what we're testing out here, but I wonder if I can then just do something like this. And then copy this again. Yeah, so we'll do a third one like that. I don't know how many of these to do. I mean, I only have three for now, so I guess three is good. And then... Yeah, so then the question is, if this is the only stop and you have three trains all coming to this stop, they should park in these three lanes, right? I think that's how it's supposed to work. Um, let's double check. Uh, oh, they did it with three different stops with the same name. I don't know if that's necessary or not. Well, I guess it's worth trying. I think you can just have one stop, can't you? So if I copy the parking, parking uh, train stop. And then the idea would be to get rid of this line and connect this to here um, or just to the main line here really. But the tricky part is where do I put it exactly because I've got this line coming up and this line coming down. It's almost like I would need to branch off this way So let me try this. So can I put signals in between each of these two? I don't think I need a signal there, do I? No, a signal after maybe. Yeah, see that? That train shouldn't have gone well, I guess I didn't see which train it was. But, yeah, it's a problem. We talked about it before. Um, no, that was the copper train, I guess. Do I need another signal up here? Probably. Well, those are all considered the same block, so that might not work, actually. I'm not entirely sure how smart the trains are. But I guess let's try it. So I'm going to take these out. And... 
and um yeah let's just hook it up around there maybe like right there Oh, except that I need space to maneuver the track from here. So maybe we can go like here. Can I? Ooh, <laughs> maybe not. Um. Yeah, how to do this part. This is really getting complicated. I think if I have it there, it will work correctly. Um, can I control V? Let me save a, save this blueprint. And then let me get rid of it here. squiggle the train so much it's kind of annoying but I but I kind of have to yeah that's a problem with that signal there too all right let's move this signal So if that is what my train looks like now, then we can put it like, oh, well, huh. no, it won't be able to reach there either. Oh man, this is nasty. be a better way to do this. The annoying part is, is I don't even know if this is going to work. loss for how to do this in a good way. I could reroute this um, track here to be further up, I guess. Yeah, we could do that. Let's try that. Okay, then let's get rid of this for a minute.
Okay. We'll copy this whole thing. Put it here. out like that I'm gonna have to get rid of all this too let's use the deconstruction planner here. Like so. So now the question is, does this work? Um, what I'm going to have to do is, okay, yeah, you go manual mode. And then we'll call another train. Oh, it's right here. Nope. Yeah, it's got a red signal because this train is here. Uh, unless I just need more train signals, maybe. Do I need one there? Ah, okay. That's what it is. Yeah, we don't need one. Oh, shoot. This one's overlapping. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's very unfortunate. Um, I did need to make it a little bit longer. Okay. Research is done. Let's keep going with more. Okay, and then the rest of these are all... Science. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. And now all these trains are stuck here. Um, let me put this one in manual. Is this going to go? Yeah. Okay. So if you stop here. Yeah. It needs to just be a tiny bit longer. Okay, so let's do automatic mode for all three of you. And let me just modify the blueprint it would be easier, I think. Sorry, it's so dark right now. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let's see, where did it go? This one. Um, yeah, here is good, I think. Alright, so we need another signal. Actually, I guess we could go across like that, too, instead of diagonal. I don't know which way looks better. I typically went diagonal so that the trains all line up. Yeah, I think I would rather do that. Like that. Anyway, um, we need to extend this. So, control X. 
And then let's put it like here. I think it should be good. Okay. I think that'll work. So then we go open this up and we say um, select new contents do that and save it and we can deconstruct this oh I don't want to get all the trees okay And I guess we'll just deconstruct from here. And will this paste on top? Yep. And then connect from here. Uh oh. Can't do this curve. I think I have a little leeway. To move, maneuver this. Let's see. Yeah, I could put it right here. Even right here would work. business now. So let's... Perfect. So you go to manual mode. And then here comes the second one. Good. And where's our third one? Over here. You almost have full cargo. But you go to parking. And yeah, it's going to come to the third spot here. Perfect. All right, that's awesome. Okay, so yeah, that should work. I'll just watch it for a bit here, make sure. But I think we'll be all set. Oh, there's two train stops. I'm going to take that one off. Oh no. Oh, that scared me for a second. I'm glad I had that train signal right there. Otherwise, I think it would have crashed. Okay, so as soon as this one gets unloaded... Wow, yeah, that was very scary. All right, cool. But yeah, it looks like we are all set. So I think that's a good place to stop. Um, hopefully this fixes our iron issue with uh, three trains coming in instead of two. I guess we'll have to just kind of watch it and see what happens. Yeah, these still aren't even full. Did I ever put modules in here? I didn't. We might want to put productivity modules in all these too. That would also help. But it would uh, shoot the power usage up too. So I think maybe, yeah, next episode we'll um, go over to this uh, uranium patch right here and, and uh, start mining that. Which is going to be challenging because you have to have sulfuric acid, right? Yeah. 
So we're going to have to ship sulfuric acid all the way over there somehow. Or craft it over there or something. I don't know exactly yet. But that will be next episode. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.